I'm gonna show you guys how to make my favorite homemade frosting. It's not buttercream, there's no butter in it. The recipe is actually from one of my friend Manuela's um, bake book. Her Instagram is at Passion for Baking. She is amazing, and this recipe is my favorite frosting recipe. It's basically a mascarpone whipped cream, and it's a little thicker than whipped cream, but not as heavy as buttercream. It actually frosts really well. Every time I make it and people eat whatever I've put it on, they're like, this is the best thing I've ever tasted. So if you haven't tried this, you should try it. It's so easy to make. You just put everything in a stand mixer and whip it up for a few minutes, and then you have the best frosting ever. So I'm gonna show you how to make it. So the recipe calls for one and three quarter cups of powdered sugar. It also calls for a couple of tablespoons of vanilla bean paste, but Manuela and I have talked about it and we like to use a little bit more than that. <laughs> you can put in like two tablespoons. Seriously, this stuff is amazing. Um, I just think the more the better in it. And we're gonna put a cup of cold mascarpone cream in it. She really stresses that you have to use cold mascarpone, cold heavy cream, or else it won't whip up as easily. And then the final ingredient is heavy whipping cream. Cold. <laughs> Sometimes I put my bowl in the freezer um, beforehand just to get it really nice and cold. And I'm also going to add a little bit of green food gel because I'm gonna be making a St. Patrick's Day cake. Now with our whisk attachment, if you want to use a handheld mixer, you can totally do that. Or if you're really buff, you can use a whisk in your arm. I don't recommend it. We're just gonna turn it on low, so let everything whip up. So I like to turn it on low at first and just kind of let it combine. And then we're gonna crank it up to a medium low until it looks like whipped cream. As you can see, it looks like a thick whipped cream and it's crazy good. So that's it, but I also highly advise you to get this baking book because it is amazing and this is a wonderful woman. She's got a great story. Here's to you, Manuela. Thanks for the recipe.